This is basically gonna just be me gushing about this movie, so prepare yourself. <laughs> Hey there creepy peeps, I'm Nightmare Maven. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I post about horror movies, books, sometimes TV shows, all year round, it's all horror, all the time. So if you end up liking this video, maybe subscribe. Directed by Yoku Okamura, Unseen follows Emily, who has been kidnapped by her psychotic ex. She's somewhere in the woods and without her glasses, can hardly see a thing. She accidentally calls Sam, who is working at a crummy job at a gas station. Emily asks Sam to be her eyes and get her to safety. First and foremost, I love that the gimmicky horror movies of the aughts are kind of making a comeback. The idea of using somebody else as your eyes to get out of a really scary situation just adds a layer of tension that I enjoyed. It's like the perfect blend of nostalgia and new technology with the video call aspect. Speaking of the video call, it makes for a lot of really fun visual elements in the movie. There's a lot of split screen as you can imagine. And because of that, the screen gets split and divided up in many different ways as our attention is kind of pulled in both directions, both with what's happening with Emily and what starts happening at the gas station with Sam as she's trying to work her shift and help a woman escape a murderous ex but keeps everything interesting and it adds to the chaos once things start getting hairy. What I really, really loved about the movie though is the female friendship, which is the center, the heart of this story. Both Emily and Sam are fantastic characters. Emily works at a hospital as a surgeon, I think. I'm pretty sure they mentioned surgery or like the ER or something like that, which suggests to us, the viewer, that with her glasses on or with her contact lenses in, she is somebody who is really capable, can stay calm under pressure, <laughs> and smart and resourceful. So you get the idea that if she had her glasses on this whole time, she could get out of the situation herself, most likely. And she makes for a nice pairing for Sam, who, while wanting to help <laughs> and not wanting to just ignore this woman that needs help on the other end of the phone, is battling her own inner demons, which kind of manifests in a lot of self-deprecation about whether she's actually being useful to Emily. I won't tell you exactly what inner demons Sam is working through in the movie, because as a viewer, we don't actually fully understand what Sam is going through until the very end of the movie. And it changes the tone of the film just ever so slightly in a really good way. <laughs> All of this to say, this bond forms between these two women who actually end up both helping each other. It's not just Sam helping Emily, and Sam can use a lot of help actually because the crummy gas station job that I mentioned just happens to be in Florida. <laughs> Dealing with a lot of crappy customers, enter Missy Pyle's character who is an absolute scene stealer in this movie. <laughs> She's a complete Karen, but the Florida version of a Karen, so still really mean, really bigoted, but also completely unhinged. At one point in the movie, you see this in the trailer, Sam has to steal her phone <laughs> to keep helping Emily, and that leads to the most Florida thing I've ever seen ever, which I won't spoil. But if you've seen it and you know what I'm talking about, it's very Florida, I'll tell you that. I can attest to the authenticity. <laughs> so really at the forefront of this movie is the intimacy and emotional depth that femme friendships have. It gives the film a lot of heart despite the tension throughout the movie. Plus there's background themes of misogyny, racism, and toxic relationships as you can imagine. None of those background themes really try and overtake the plot to an extent. Like they just feel very realistically put in there because that's what these characters go through on a daily basis. All of this to say I was pleasantly surprised with the depth of this movie. I kind of just went in expecting a fun but shallow time. <laughs> like I wasn't expecting to feel the things, I wasn't expecting it to be as tense and as scary as it was. <laughs> this is definitely a movie I will be enjoying again and again and it's already made it to my top three horror movies of 2023 so far. I know it's still early but I think y'all know enough about me by now to know that if a movie hits me in the heart space at just the right time, I'm gonna make it the best movie of the year. <laughs> 
Overall, this was such an enjoyable movie watching experience. I highly recommend this movie if you haven't seen it yet. And if you have seen it already, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. So there you have it. If you ended up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help me out and you can subscribe and become a creepy peep today. I will see you on Tuesday with a spoiler filled Scream 6 review. It's gonna need to be spoiler filled. So make sure you go see it this weekend. So I will see you Tuesday. Until then, stay strange. Bye.